Hi, this is Hindavi from Agricole YouTube channel. The main aim of this channel is to cover the important topics related to agriculture and mostly I am going to prefer the subject agronomy. Today in this video, we will be learning some important topics that must be remembered by an agri student. I am going to deal four important topics. Those are history, important scientists, important years and important revolutions. So let's get started with the history. Our history of agriculture starts with the domestication of plants and animals. At 9500 BC, eight Neolithic crops were emerged. You can see the list of crops which I have mentioned. The important crops and their domestication. We all know rice is a crop of China. I have mentioned five important crops and their domestication. Try to remember all the five crops. First one is rice, China, sugarcane, New Guinea, sorghum, Africa, potato, South America and cotton from Peru. So here comes the important topic. I am going to mention the important mistake that most of us are doing. Most of the time we get confused with the primates or monkeys or first. Monkeys are and the first creature, primates are the first and then the existence of apes, monkeys etc. Finally the modern man which is also called as homo sapiens. Next topic is the important scientist. I have mentioned six important scientists and try to remember all the six scientists. The first one is Dr. M.S. Swaminathan. One should must remember three aspects about M.S. Swaminathan. One is he is a wheat breeder. He is a father of green revolution in India, got a food prize in 1987. The second scientist, Dr. N. E. Borlaug. He is a father of green revolution in the world. He is an American wheat scientist, got a Nobel prize in 1970. The third one, Varghese Kurian. Father of White Revolution. Here I am going to mention that M.S. Swaminathan is a father of Wheat Revolution in India. So don't get confused about these two people. He got a Mega Sese Award and got a World Food Prize. The next scientist is Surinder Vasil, maize breeder in Semit. I think you all know the full form of Semit, right? There is a Centro International Le Mezori Mento de Maisi Trico. Got a World Food Prize in 2000. The fifth scientist, Dr. K. L. Chadda. He is a pomologist and a father of a golden revolution in India. The last and most important scientist, Yuan Longping, who is a father of hybrid rice. Some of the international years. I have listed some international years that must be remembered. I think it was little bit difficult to remember all those years. So I have an idea. Okay, now follow me. I am going to tell you a story which is very interesting. We all love stories, right? So listen it carefully and observe each and every word which I mentioned. A person named X and maybe that was you so on a fine day you are going to take your food by afternoon. Most of us prefer rice. Yeah, rice with a potato curry with some fiber content along with a glass of water. So you finished your dinner and you are too bored in your house. What, are we, what you are going to do? Okay, we are going to plan a trip to enjoy the nature which is to see our biodiversity. We move on to the forest. And next by seeing all those wonders, finally you return to your home, you thought of doing family farming. At first, check the soil and go on with a beneficial pulses. And after all, end with a sustainable tour with the various indigenous languages. I think you all enjoyed the story. Okay, it was boring, right? Now move on to the topic. Those ears, observe those ears carefully and link up with the story I mentioned. Wow, I think you got my point. Yeah. Next, some of the revolutions. These can be remembered easily because of various colors. Once go through that and try to remember each and every revolution. 
I think you all learned from this video. I am going to share some of the important tricks which makes you to remember the topic easily. And if you want me to cover any other topic, please let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, finally, here comes an end. Thank you for listening.